Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all being here. We're going to be doing a pick a card or pick a pile reading and we have three piles here so I want you to take a deep breath. If you have a question, you know, um, kind of sit with that and see what stone calls to you or what card pile calls to you. Uh, we have pile one, with the, which is amethyst, and we'll go into the properties when we pick the pile, if that's the pile you choose. Pile two is citrine, <clears throat> and pile three is celestite, and I think it's also called celestine. Uh, it's a beautiful, I love that color blue. It's just a gorgeous stone. So we have three piles here, so I'm going to, you can pause the video. Take a breath, take a minute, see what pile calls to you, and then we'll get on with the readings. Welcome pile one. We have this beautiful amethyst cluster. Amethyst enhances your immune system and it can reduce headaches. It can regulate your hormones and natu it's a natural tranquilizer. So if you feel if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling over uh, you know, having anxiety issues, you can carry amethyst with you. It can release stress and balance moods. It can also open your intuition. And purple to me is a, is a color of spirituality. So it definitely can um, pull you into, you know, the, your intuition, the spirit realm, uh, help you connect with loved ones, things like that. So we're going to take the oracle card. We're going to place it over here with the amethyst. And then we're going to see what we have here. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Wow. And we have the Sun card under the under that. That's beautiful. All right, we have the Queen of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and Four of Pentacles. We are... Hmm. I feel, you know, we have two cards here with our, our Pentacles, and we go from a Knight to a King. So I don't know if there's some type of promotion you're working on at work. I don't know if there's some type of step up that you're trying to get or some type of acknowledgement. Uh, I feel like... Whatever this is, it's a slow process. Whatever this is going on, it's a slow process. Something cannot come quick enough. Maybe you're due a raise. Maybe you're due some type of acknowledgement. Maybe you're due something that, maybe you're due something that is, is owed to you, you know. You're waiting for the money to come in. You're waiting for some type of uh, promotion or acknowledgement or uh, bonus of some sort. And I just feel like, if, I, I feel like you've been waiting for a long time. You know, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And you're feeling like um, it, it's almost hopeless. But with the King of Pentacles underneath, it's like whatever work you're doing, whatever it is that you're waiting for, whatever it is that you're wanting to uh, to show or manifest is not going to go unnoticed. Somebody notices you. Uh, there is a promotion. There is a raise. There is something coming up. There is a higher there's a higher power at work here. We have the Pentacles and we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn, the grounded earth energy, very much a, um, you know, he's sitting in his throne full of abundance, but very much comfortable, right? A grounded earth energy here. And the Pentacles is teaching you patience and it's teaching you uh, that things will come in in the right time when things are supposed to come in. With the Queen of Cups, you know, coming into the reading here, we talk about being being involved with your emotions and your feelings. And again, I feel like this could be something that you've wanted for a long, long time. Um, maybe you didn't realize how bad you wanted it until you got really close to it. And I just feel with the Ten of Swords, you know, maybe you, maybe you gave up on it. Maybe you gave up on whatever the dream is or whatever. Uh, promotion is or whatever it could even be schooling like where you take yourself to the next level where you take yourself to um, you know from associates to, to bachelors to masters to whatever you're you're moving up that ladder it could even be in some type of schooling but I feel like whatever this is you're very focused on it and I feel like it is 
I feel like you feel that you have, this is what you're born to do, or this is what you felt like you should always do. You know, you've had a love for this, or you've had a, 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 a like for this going on. And again, I feel like maybe you've given up on it, you know, um, either you've given up on it or you pushed yourself to the brink where, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve was very, very, very hard work, right? Very hard. And, it, you know, people say, well, about killed me. Well, that's kind of how you feel. Uh, but there is a dawn, there is light in the sky. So things are lifting. This black cloud is lifting. And I feel like you get through that there, you could have support. There could be family support. There could be, you know, maternal support. There could be grandparent support, but there's support around you. There's people supporting you. There's people believing in you. We have the four of pentacles and then the sun card. So this is just talking about the payout. The payout will be there. The money will be there. The money's coming. It's going to bring balance and stability to your finances. It's going to bring in some type of, um, some type of structure that you're, that you've been wanting or searching for. You're going to be able to save. You're going to be able to save money, maybe for the first time ever, maybe save for a house, save for a car, save for something you want, save for a vacation with the four of pentacles. And then you have the sun card, which is a card of Leo. It's a card of a dawn and a new day, new beginnings, new start, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, you can see your way out. You can see what is going on here and you can see where you want to, um, continue and the sun card is a card of being seen shining um getting your acknowledgements right getting your acknowledgements and feeling that that feeling of freedom you know that's that's a new baby there almost like a, a young child on the back of a horse without bridle or saddle and you know holding on to anything and feeling that freedom feeling that freedom that you know, that beginning, a fresh start. Let's pull some clarifiers for you guys. All right. It's pile A. Let's pull some clarifiers. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, you know, it's something, it, it could be a dream you've had. It could be something you've been working on a long time. Something that's been very hard. Ten is the number of a, a ending of a cycle. So again, that's all coming to a close. And then you have the King of Pentacles. Look at that. Showing up again. See, this just reiterates that. It reiterates that money. It reiterates that somebody seeing you. Somebody paying attention to you. Somebody knowing all your hard work. Somebody knowing your passion. Somebody knowing your love. Somebody knowing or seeing what you have going on and acknowledging that. And... You know, they are ready to take action on it. Uh, again, albeit slow, because the pentacles are, it's a slow moving energy. It's nothing fast. And it, you know, you're like, it couldn't come fast enough for me. But in your darkest, darkest days, know that you're being seen, know that you're being supported, know that you're being, uh, there's a reason for everything you're going through. And it will be lucrative and you will come out, you know, really in good shape with more money or more you know it could be a bonus that you didn't expect and that you got more money than you could anticipate see with the knight of pentacles and the king of pentacles you have the knight of swords so you have another action oriented card the only difference is this one's slow moving this one is not going fast this one is taking its time this one is thinking things through this one is not in a hurry this one is taking action. Uh, the Knight of Swords is thoughts, feelings, um, you know, communication. There is something that is going to be going on that is going to spur this uh, deal or this money or this situation, this promotion, this um, more money coming in, it's going to start spurring it on. Somebody could step up on your behalf and go, you know, so-and-so is really doing this, or have you paid attention to them? You know, something is going to, um, to spur that on. Something's going to start things moving quickly with the, with the Knight of Swords, because you have that fast moving energy and you have that communication going on. Uh, it could be where, you know, 
with COVID, everything's kind of been down and some, some are just now getting back up. So it could even just be that where your, you know, your job or your position or whatever it is that you're going for. Cause I do think this is all work related is there's going to be action. Somebody's going to speak up on your behalf or some action is going to be taken um, because they see your hard work or they see what you can do and they're going to, uh, it could even be you, you know, sending out the resumes and doing all the things and, and really pushing or maybe not resumes if you already have a job, but you know what I mean? You're, you're advocating for yourself. It could be. And then we have the beautiful 10 of cups. So you have this, this financial stability coming in with, you know, the sun card, which is new beginnings, new starts, um, whatever this dark is ending, whatever this dark Ten of Swords is ending. You have this new beginning coming in, dawn of a new day, and you have the Ten of Cups. So again, whatever is coming in for you, whatever it is you've been waiting for, Pile 1, it is well worth the wait because it's going to be whatever you wanted and then some, right? This is emotional stability on whatever level you deem that as. If it's, you know, a family and kids and a white picket fence, it is whatever it is. It's total emotional uh, happiness, you know, bliss, bliss comes to mind. Beautiful reading. Beautiful. Let us see what the Oracle card is under our amethyst. Great big love. What a beautiful card. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, great big love. Let's see what the book says. Okay. Key concepts. Love without conditions. Romantic love and how that experience changes you. Deep and profound harmonious connections and soulmates. Love heals all wounds, begins all life. It sustains you when you are starving for grace. When you stumble and fall, when you lose sight of your purpose and fall prey to the limited perception, perspective of the ego. Now is the time to fall in love and call in the awareness of the great big love that made you, which is ever pulsing through your veins. There's a heightened sense of awareness in the beginning stages of a relationship when nothing else matters but who's in front of, of you. You see them, you see yourself in them, and you move in sync with the canvas of your hearts. You surround, you surrender to the magic you share and engage in harmonious dance that is seamless in its movements, rising and falling with each movement, each breath. Although this card may portend such an intimate connection, you don't have to wait for a partner to experience it. You're beginning. You be. You're being invited now to explore love in all its beauty. Can you love without conditions, without needing things to be perfect? Do you love your life, who, what you do, and how you contribute to the world? See, I think that's all about work, and I think it's. I think with the work, when all that comes in it's going to lead to kind of the rest of your life right it's going to lead to the rest of your life because it you have that queen of cups here so cancer scorpio pisces you have that water energy you have that that love that unconditional love also so can you love without conditions without needing things to be perfect do you love your life what you do and how you contribute to the world today invite love with a capital l into your inquiry you will be amazed and your very questions may be changed as a result. Love is the strength you need today. The lens you must look through to find the truth in your way. Love is the way and the only way and the only answer. And that's in all forms. It's not just romantic. It's in all forms. Great big love. What a beautiful, beautiful card. All right, guys. Great reading great reading. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I, I don't know where to put this card that it just shows up. That would be nice right there, wouldn't it? Let's see if I can put a stone. There we go. All right. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Just let me know which pile that you're talking about and I'll try to answer them. If you, if this resonates with you and you want to comment, you know, that way, that's also great. I would love to hear from you. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe. Be blessed. Feel free to share this video with anybody that you like to have them watch. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Be safe. 
and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome. All right, we, you have picked the citrine. Beautiful citrine. Citrine promotes and activates creativity, and it encourages self-expression. It enhances your concentration. It releases negativity. It releases negative traits and depression. It can release fears and phobias, and it can balance your emotions. Now, again, you feel free to look this stone up. There's so much more to it if this calls to you. It's a beautiful kind of honey color. Um, these are clusters. You can see the raw, how they look. They're beautiful. I'm going to take this card here and move it under there. All right. So feel free to, you know, carry it with you. Take a picture. If you don't, you know, have one or want to buy one, you absolutely do not have to buy one. That's not why I do the stones. It's just to um, help you, you know, get in touch with something that you might want to be in touch with. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, Temperance, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, and Nine of Swords. Interesting, two nines there. So you're ending something, something's coming to a close. Could be your anxiety and worry. We start out with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups. There's a lot of creativity here. Speaking of the creativity in this stone, right? There's a lot of creativity. There's something that you are mastering or manifesting or bringing something into the forefront, bringing something into focus. The Nine of Cups, it's something that you're very comfortable with. It's something that you are, um, I feel like you're doing something, but you don't have to be doing it, you know? Uh, you're working hard at something, but it's not like you have to do it because wherever you're at, you're very comfortable with the Nine of Cups. It's like you've already um, been there, done that. You could be teaching something also. could be something that you're very good at, something that you are very much in tune with. You could be teaching it to others with the Queen of Wands also. Uh, you know, we have the Wands. We have the Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Cups. We have uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, we have the Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have the Pentacles, so we're all represented here, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, all the signs are represented here, so it could be one of many, it could be, you know, again, you could be teaching others something that you are very passionate about, something that you love, something that's near and dear to your heart, or you could be going back to school for something that you love, um, also, that's a possibility. The Page of Pentacles is all about knowledge and growth and, you know, you know, school keeps coming to mind because you have the Three of Cups. It's like being with like-minded people, being with your friends, kind of like a sorority or fraternity or something like that. Um, and then with the Page of Pentacles, the growth and the schooling and the teaching and the nurturing, um, So it could be something that you are, again, going into that you are very passionate about. You could be going into teaching. You could be in your first year of teaching. You could be in your first year of school to be a teacher or something like that even. But I feel there's maturity here. There's a maturity level here. And here I feel like maybe you just graduated. Maybe you, again, like your first year of teaching. The possibility and you have temperance and nine of swords so this is just telling you to be patient with yourself or be patient with the um, administration or whatever it is that you that is going on you know temperance is moderation it's taking things slowly it's kind of not trying to rush anything and again having as much patience with yourself as with others temperance can bring in balance and it can bring in um, this level of uh, not perfection, but but this level of this balance of evenness is what I feel. Nine of Swords can be your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts. You know, letting them get away with you, running away with you, your anxiety, your worry, your stress. 
you know, too much going on, uh, feeling like everybody's looking at you, you know, like you have eyes all over you. Everybody's watching you. Every, everybody's watching everything you're doing. Everybody's watching every move. And to remember that temperance, that, you know, take a deep breath. You've got this. Look at how far you've come. Look at everything you've done. This is your worry and anxiety, and this is leaving you because it's a nine. So, you know, you are... I don't want to say you're bringing it on yourself, but you are kind of let, letting your own thoughts run away with you and getting out of hand that way. So you need to, you know, bring in the balance, bring in the serenity, the peacefulness that you're seeking here that can uh, calm your nerves, you know, that can uh, help you help yourself is what I feel. It can help you help yourself. Let's bring in some clarifiers. All right. Just pile two need to know. Yeah, the three cups, I just feel it's like-minded people. I feel like it's people you like to hang around with. See, look at that. See, totally different deck here. So this is really telling me to, to pay attention to this card, Page of Pentacles. You know, she almost looks sad. She almost looks like wistful and sad. And if you look at these two cards together, one's facing future, one's looking in the past. So the Page of Pentacles can be also where, you know, looking at your past, knowing that you're moving forward and you're letting this young person go. You're letting this youth go. You're letting this childhood go. You're, you're maybe, maybe graduating high school, maybe graduating college, but you are, your, your future is, your future is coming and you're kind of wistful that you're letting maybe go of, you know, well, like when you're in school or you're in college and then that ends and then you have to be in the real world and get a real job, kind of that energy. But again, the pinnacles is a slow moving energy. And this is something that maybe has taken you longer than quote unquote most people or something you've had to work harder for. But again, I feel like this is something Either in the past, this could be a child that, or a young adult that you're dealing with that maybe, you know, if you're an older person, maybe they're going to college and maybe, you know, maybe you're a teacher or maybe there's some type of um, uh, feelings of, you know, I've done my job well, I can relax now because the Nine of Cups is a very contentment card. So maybe with the Queen of Wands going, you know, they I've done everything I can do. Now it's up to them. And I've done my job. That can be that possibility also. All right. With the Queen of Wands and Nine of Cups. Okay. Queen of Wands and Nine of Cups. Um, you know, the Wands are all about passion and desire and growth. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, new opportunities arising. Um, new potential coming in. Could be a side hustle. Could be a way to make some extra money. Again, if you're going into something like you graduated and you're moving into the working world and or you're teaching or you're doing something, I really feel like it's almost like your first year teaching or your first year doing something in education is what I feel but there's going to be extra money to be had or, or new, you know, um, almost like a gold mine or uh, a potential to make extra money. I mean, you could maybe be doing some type of uh, teaching on the side or night school teaching or something like that. But there's some type of potential here to make some money. Again, the Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy that you have going on with the Pentacles. All right. And it can be transformative energy too, Ace of Pentacles. Something with the Aces is that if you have an offer that comes in um, and, you know, maybe you get an email from somebody saying, hey, do you want to pick up some hours or do you want to do this? Don't hesitate. If you do want to do it, don't hesitate. Don't say, well, I'll get back to that later. Grab it. Because the Aces are like windows. They don't stay open. They don't stay open long. Temperance too, I feel with the temperance is you need to, um, you need to go with the flow. You need to go with the flow a little bit. You need to kind of not be so hard and rigid on yourself and go with the flow. Allow yourself to just go with the flow. Seven of Cups. Um, 
part of your worry and anxiety, there could be a lot of decisions you could be um, coming up against. There could be a lot of uh, questions that you need answers to. There could be a lot of confusion in maybe uh, what you're supposed to do or where you're supposed to go or how you're supposed to do this or you know there could be a lot of uh, a lot of things in play so that could lead into this kind of anxiety and worry but the seven of cups is also just talking to you about you know there's a lot of options and there's not just one right way so sit with things have patience you know um, decisions don't have to be made immediately. This is extra. This is extra. This is something that could come in extra saying, Hey, like I said, do you want extra hours or do you want to pick up weekends or whatever? Um, but if it's going to cause you more worry and strife, then absolutely, you know, don't put yourself into that situation. But seven of cups is, uh, choices, you know, choices and, it's almost like you can freak yourself out over making a wrong choice and there's no absolute right choice and there's no absolute wrong choice on this so cut yourself some slack again go with the flow go with the flow on things your oracle card is heal the ouch all right let's see what this says all right heal the ouch Forgiveness is the healer of the soul. This is a time for a great soothing of the heart, body, soul, and mind, as this card indicates that healing will be pre prevalent in your life now. If you feel drawn to study the healing arts, you'll be successful in developing your natural capacity to restore others to wellness. However, the message may be that you're being called to change your behaviors in order to heal the earth. Perhaps you'll switch to a cruelty-free diet, eating less meat, or perhaps you'll pay more attention to how much water or electricity you use. You're asked to be conscious of your footprint on the sacred earth and all of life and to commit to the healing path. The Heal the Ouch card may also be an indicator of old wounds and broken bonds being mended. Reconciliations are possible. Let bygones be bygones. And that can be absolutely where this um, this forlorn, forlorn look on her comes in. You know, having to leave something behind, having to let go of something, having to, uh, you know, I feel like these two are the same. You know, forgive herself or let... Uh, let herself grow up or let herself herself his self you know they just present as female here there's no gender specific um, let herself grow and flourish and be not holding yourself back not holding yourself back all right pile two thank you all so much for watching let me know if this resonates if it does feel free to comment below uh, thumbs ups are always good if you know anybody that this sounds like please feel free to share or just share in general um, it's a beautiful card and how sweet is that just how sweet is that mm. all right guys take care of yourselves take care of each other and i will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye for now Welcome pile three. You have picked Celestite and sometimes it's called Celestine. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Uh, it's a high vibrational stone. It connects your third eye and your crown chakra. So if you want to get messages from spirit, messages from your angels, I feel like this is a very beautiful stone uh, to get messages from your angels. Um, it can activate unique psychic abilities that you may have that you may not know you have and you can see things or pick up things on a much higher level it can flush out toxins and heal from heal yourself from stress and again it can connect with spirit and connect with angels and if you're more if you're interested in this you can always google and see what other properties it carries and it's absolutely beautiful so we will take it and move it over here with your oracle card and we will turn over your reading all right so we have the knight of pentacles we have the ten of wands 
We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. The Two of Wands and the... I'm sorry, the Two of Cups and the Page of Wands. Page of Fire. Right? Wow, look at that. Look at how it lines up. Isn't that something? So very interesting. Because we have the Ten of Wands with the Two of Cups. So you are doing something. You're almost in a cycle that you could be working with somebody. Um, you could be working so hard, it could be affecting your marriage. You could be working so hard so you can get married. You could be working so hard to be with somebody else. That's a possibility. This says, working too hard on too, or too many hours, the need for balance in life. Let others help you. Health problems do distress. Stress, worry, strife, things like that. But I feel that what you're wanting to do is this falling in love or resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness, and ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. You could be working really hard at a relationship. You could be really working hard either to get somebody to love you or you could be working really hard to to um, forward the love. You know what I mean? Like get the house, you know, get married or whatever it is you're wanting to do. You could be really working to do that, but it's been really hard and really trying. The good part is it's a number 10. 10 is the end of a cycle. So something new can start to come in. So you are you know, at the uh, brink of that. We'll pull, pull a clarifier here, here in a little bit, if I can talk. We have the two pentacles here starting out, again, with your money, saving the money, making the money, um, you know, finding financial security. That could be where all the hard work comes in, because you're trying to shore up your, you know, Maybe, again, getting married or maybe wanting to propose or something like that. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And it is a, a slow-moving energy, but it is a lucrative one. It is one about making money, but it's doing it smart and really thinking things through. It says, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive. Plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for the perfect time. A guardian or someone... Who watches over you you then you go into the ten of pentacles which is the happily ever after it is why you do things it is why you work so hard pile three it's why you work so hard to have things so your family has things the families you know the lineage all the lineage you know what you created what you want you want the happily ever after you want the family you want all the things this financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on the knowledge. So you're passing on the knowledge to others and you're, you're doing it in a way that um, will last for generations and generations. Whatever foundations you're laying down will be carried through. And it's been hard. It's been a hard trying time, but you're almost done that. Because then we have the Knight of Wands here with the Page of Wands. So we go, you know, with the Knight and the Page. And it is, um, you know, the fire energy, the fast-moving energy. Your passion, your desire. Look at look at how fast they're going on that horse, right? Things are flying. It says, passionate, confident, charismatic, restless. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. A passionate relationship. This could be something coming in quickly. Again, it's a night. It's something that you're taking action on. Maybe all your hard work, again, it's going to pay off. Something's going to be very lucrative. And maybe you can move something forward. If it's getting married, if it's, you know, moving in together, if it is proposing, whatever it is, things can start moving quickly. And you have the page. And again, the page is under the night, which I find interesting because it, it should be reversed. This should come first. But what I feel with the night and the page, it's, it's, Something can go too fast and you might need to backtrack on something a little bit. Um, enthusiastic, 
enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, impatient. You know, there could be some of that level of impatience there. News of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passion. Finish what you start. I also feel with the page of fire, it can involve a child. Uh, there could be a rush to do something because maybe one of you are, is expecting. That's a possibility too. Um, with the page uh, where you, you know, you feel this, this, uh, this need to hurry up and get things accomplished. Maybe that's why you work so hard. Uh, but I do feel, Pile 3, that you have thought this process out. It's not something that you just jumped into willy-nilly, so to speak. You've thought this process out, and you are growing and learning from it as you go, definitely. And you're putting in a lot of hard work, but there's there's light at the end of the tunnel. There's balance and love and devotion and, you know, romance and, and love. I mean, it's it's things you want, things you want to grow here. And again, it could involve a child. It could involve, again, one of you could be pregnant, one of you could be expecting or wanting to get pregnant or something could have happened sooner than you thought was going to happen. You know, maybe you were trying and you never thought you'd get pregnant so soon and it happened. So it's going to expedite something coming in for you. Pile three. Let's pull clarifier for the night and the ten. Ah, we have the death card. Yeah. Um, so it's a transformation card. It's a card of Scorpio. Letting go of something so things new can come in. I feel like this kind of precedes this card with the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. And I feel like um, it took you a while to decide maybe what you want, where you want to go, uh, how you want to get there, what you want to grow, so to speak, you know. And I feel like you had to let go of your past. You had to let go of things that weren't serving you. You had to transform your own energy in order to move yourself forward is what I feel. I feel like this card should come here, not really uh, to talk about that. Uh, I feel also that you weren't or are not the same person you were like, you know, 10 years ago, even five years ago, even you've really changed, you've grown, you, you've matured and you're really coming into your own and you're really um, knowing what you want and what you don't want and how to go about getting, uh, getting what you want or that doesn't sound right. Living the life you want. We have the seven of rods, <clears throat> seven of wands here. And this just talks about your boundaries, your resilience, you know, fighting what standing behind what you want, you know, Standing behind what you want, not giving in, uh, seeing things through to the end, right? I think this card said, finish what you start, finish what you start. And that's, you, you know, you, I feel like once you make a commitment, you're committed and that's why you've worked so hard. And that's why you want that love. You want that, you want to show the person you love that you're a hard worker. You want to show that the person you love, you can stick with something that you can follow through, that you do want this. And the seven of wands is that boundaries and it is, you know, you sticking to it and not letting others come in or not being swayed by others' thoughts or ideas or feelings or emotions, but sticking, you know, eye on the prize. You, you see the goal and you're moving toward it. All right. And we have the knight and the page, and then we have the four swords. So this just talks about rest and mental rest you know give yourself a break give yourself a rest i feel with whatever you're doing here all this hard work all this that you're putting in all this extra burden that you're carrying um and having to uh you know support somebody maybe someone's going through school maybe somebody's finishing school and you're supporting them so you all can get married um but i feel like you're coming out of that energy. They could be graduating. They could be moving forward. You all could be getting ready to, you know, move forward. But it's like, take a vacation. Take a take a break. Take a rest. It's almost like if, if you're going to have a child, you know, try to take a vacation before the child comes. Or before, um, 
I feel like before things really settle down and get serious, try to get a vacation, try to get some mental rest. And it doesn't have to be, you know, going to the Bahamas or Hawaii or anything like that. It's just take a break. Give yourself that time to take a break. Get away, you know, go in the mountains, go in the the woods, the, you know, wherever you're close to. Just take some time. Even if it's sitting home, take some time. Give yourself a mental rest with the Four of Swords. It's going to bring balance back into your thoughts, back into your communication, your thinking, you know, ideas. It's going to bring imbalance back into all that. We have Sky Father. Trust in the unknown. What a beautiful card. And that's, to me, such a... Uh, like a Native American thing, you know, Sky Father. Wow. Okay. Trust your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. All right. Trust your path is unfolding exactly as it needs to. Um, you have a personal relationship with the Great Father. Know that he is lovingly leading you forward. You are a co-creator in your life, and every thought, feeling, intention, and emotion you have is creating the road ahead. With that being said, you don't need to know every single detail of what is is unfolding before you. That's why I think the um, Seven of Rods, it's like you do know what you do know, and you're holding that. You're holding on to that, right? When this card appears, you are being guided to step back and get out of your own way because there is a greater power that is not only around you but within you. And Sky Father is creating the best experience imaginable for you. Accepting this will allow miraculous energy to come into your life. So see things from a higher perspective like the eagle on the card. And the eagle is also associated with Scorpio. So if that has any significance for you. This card can also appear when there are opportunities to improve the father connection in your life. If your father figure is in heaven, know that his spirit is drawing closer. If he is in, on earth, there's an opportunity to heal something, whether past or present. What a beautiful message. All right. All right. All right. And, uh, you know, with all this maybe starting your own family, maybe that father, sky father energy, maybe that father figure energy is very much uh, prevalent for you. Thinking about how you were raised, maybe how your partner was raised, things like that, and how you want maybe things to be different, uh, maybe how things had to come to an end so things can move forward, right? All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Good luck to you. Stay safe. Be blessed. And pile three until next time. Um, feel free to share this if you know anybody that you want to share this with. Let them pick a pile. Thank you all for being here. I will see you next time. Bye for now.